Just sit and breathe. Just sit and breathe for a while. It's like meditation is great. I do it every day. Da, da, da. I'm like, but at the end of the day, you're this dude. And this is where you are is right here. And that's all that really is the most important thing. And all that. Other and thing. I love to smoke after taking like a huge shit. Nice. I like about, you like, can find some real gems buried in this. Like the more you don't touch it, the bigger monster it becomes. You know what I mean? Like I feel like into the subconscious. Right. Because a lot of times, and that's where meditation comes in too. You know, that's where I've noticed that if you mm-hmm. can just sit and breathe, just sit and breathe for a while. And like they say, you breathing, know, breathing takes such thought, a huge toll. But don't in our hold lives. it and let it go. It does. It does. You know, and as much as we like to think we're all really good at breathing, there's a lot of times, especially after meditating now, it's, I realized it's like, she said, Pete, when's the last time I took a breath? I've been doing this thing for so long and I don't right. think I've been breathing the entire time. Well, and I'm not someone who's like, meditation is great. I do it every day. Da, da, da. I'm like, I've been learning more that meditation is important. And the reason for that is like when I get into my super anxious periods, like my super depression or anxious periods where I can't get out of my head. And normally I used to be able to smoke and help pull myself out of that or do something else and pull myself out of that. And it can last a couple of days. I find now that like the only way I can calm it down is with meditation. And it's like everything else I try sleeping, anything else doesn't work. But if I can meditate and then it lets me dive deeper into what the real like nagging issue is. Right. And then I can let it because go. Because you start to but everything else sift through it. all the paperwork on top of it, right? Piece Instead by piece. Instead of just pushing all the finally... paperwork off my desk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going through right. them, seeing how it's all connected and then digging your way to the, the root of the pile right disconnecting Dude, yourself so huge it. that's so huge i did that at work for a while and i feel like i was really successful when i did that and then i stopped it came out of necessity for some reason i was i was like at wit's end i'm like i feel like anxious shit and nothing's working that's what it is like you you start something start pacing start something else start pacing start something else start pacing right mm-hmm. you, you can't stay focused well, on one thing well, and like you said too, you start something, start something, and now you have all this shit going on, and you have yourself all worked up, and you have yourself like in all these different areas, and you forget that you're just a dude, you're just right here, and you're just this, and like that's that's at the end of the day, that's all there is. All those other projects are extra shit you've put on top of this thing, but at the end of the day, you're this dude, and this is where you are, is right here, and that's all that really is the most important thing, and all that other shit is just extra. It's just extra that you've tacked on top of it. Have you tried out uh, meditation much, Smokey? Not, <clears throat> not as much. I do take like, I do take some time to like take in some breathing as I'm taking like smoke breaks. <laughs> I'm taking in some fresh air while I'm smoking. You gotta, you gotta have the buffer, you know. Nice. But at least like through that time, I can like decompress and I can think about like different stuff, you know. Dude, for real, I feel like gotcha. smoking was a meditation when I smoked. You know, yeah. there was just something about going I, out there. And I definitely just treat you. it like it. It's like taking a poop or taking a shower. It's yeah. that kind of right. time. And that's why I love to smoke before I take a shower. And I love to smoke after taking like a huge shit. <laughs> the, the one thing I nice. like about like meditation compared to something like a, I feel like there's two kinds of meditation. There's meditation. There's like, I want to say like distracted meditation where you're putting your, you're taking your focus and you're putting it on one thing so you can think in the background. And for me, that's like drawing or different things like that. Um, but for like focused meditation, I think the benefit of it on top of other meditation is that you're telling yourself to sit the fuck down. You're telling yourself to take a step out, relax, do nothing and just do nothing for a minute. And that's fine. And it's like, at least for myself, when I meditate, it's like, I check out of, my goal is to check out of everything and then just connect with this. So nothing else physical, my eyes are closed. Like, I don't want to feel my hands at the, when I get to that certain part of meditation that I like, I don't feel my hands. I don't feel my body. I don't feel, I'm just inside of myself and just like checked in with myself.
that's the and way it should be. It should, you should be like in tune with your, like your inner self. Right. And I can get close to that with drawing where I can just get myself in that flow state where I've just like, I'm really in it. I'm doing what I want, but I'm not introspective. I'm more retrospective. You're just looking back. Yes. Reflecting. Yes. I'm, I'm referencing. Exactly. And that's where I think with the smoking, same thing, or it's like you can reflect it's, back on things, but the benefit of meditation is you realize those are just things. You're not even reflecting on them those are just fucking things like that's all they are and like that's there's a beauty to that 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 all that stuff is just stuff that you've added into your life you know it's just stuff where a lot of my good journaling thoughts came from was meditation you know i'd just be sitting there breathing and boom an idea would pop in my head and for a Mm -hmm. while there i would jump on it right away but after a while i started letting the ideas go go and the longer you let those go you can find some real gems buried in there you know and a lot of things where you forgot about or things you remember or different ways of looking at things that you knew how to look at the thing before that you haven't thought about but it's something you've been stuck on forever and it's just by sitting there and giving yourself time to catch up give yourself the time and like you said too, you got to shuffle through that other bullshit on the top before you can get to those gems on bottom. And so that's where I feel like most of the day we're distracted with all this shit and clutter on top that really doesn't fucking matter. And then when you check in with yourself during that time, it's like, what at the core really matters? What at the core will not let me sleep at night? And it's all this petty shit that it's weird. The petty shit that I don't give a fuck about gives me the most anxiety. And then the shit that I actually care about, like, even though it's not done, the thought of doing it just gives me joy. You know, right? what I mean? <clears throat> because you be, because you you're, you get that satisfaction. Well, and I know it's value too. Like paying my or taxes value, and doing all these it's other satisfaction basic things. That you value. Like they're just shit I have to do to not get a debt collector on me. But writing my book or doing the anime or things like that, like those are shit that I want to see done. That I know why I want to see them done. You know what I mean? Like to me, they have more value than some basic bullshit I'm supposed to do at the job tomorrow. Because you're supposed to do it. Right. And you want to do it. Like you want to see like that finished result of it. Right. And and I, and that's where I think too, is like, we get so caught up and people get us so wrapped up at jobs and shit, like in their dream and like come along and be part of the team and be part of the group. And we don't understand where a lot of those other like pushes are coming from. And then when you meditate, you're like, Oh, I really don't give a shit about their end goal. I'm doing because I care about the people. Right. But, you know, or you're, you or you're just learn. looking, you're looking at it to like gain experience or to just pass time. Right. And I feel like you can realize that better when you take the time to think about why you're actually there. Mm-hmm. I, I only say this because I was such a non reflective person like back in the day. I never thought about why I really thought the way I thought or interacted the way I did or why things did. Like, no, we're we are living the next day. Let's get fucking going. And now I want to know why things work. I've yeah. been <clears throat> like, I've been having these thoughts for probably the last like two or so years that, that I've started like reading more because like a lot of the, well, <clears throat> a lot of the successful people that like I read and follow and what, and what, and whatnot, like they all talk about like having like these thoughts and like having these feelings and like how to like tackle them and how to like keep them and move and move them forward. That's the trick. Keep moving forward, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Like it's okay. It's, it's okay is... to think of something, but you don't want to let it like dwell too long, per mm-hmm. se. And if you don't address those thoughts and feelings, they don't go anywhere. Because that was no. my thing. Is like I still had to readdress issues from years because I I put them under the rug for so long, and that still got to get taken care of at some point. So just because you put all that shit on the back burner, all you're doing is making a bigger pile of shit for yourself to go through when you finally decide to go through it, you know? And it's just like, it's just like my tax papers in my closet. It's just like everything else. Like the more you don't touch it, the bigger monster it becomes, you know what I mean? The bigger and bigger it spirals out of control and there's more and more shit you got to do to take care of it. And it's just, just do it, do it when it's small, do it before it becomes an issue. That's the trick, right? Take mm-hmm. care of it. Take care of it. No matter how ridiculous you're making it seem. 
take care. There's gonna, of it. and you can't until you become self-aware. You have to be aware of how, why you do the things you do, and why you're feeling the way you feel. Otherwise, you can't take care of it because what are you taking care of? You don't fucking know. Like, right. There's gonna be a CPA that watches this po- this podcast, and he's gonna be like, "I gotta get a hold of these guys and help them." <laughs> <laughs> we could all use a little help. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's where I think it is too. It's like a lot of people get hard on themselves because they're so caught up in their mind and they think it's like just so wild and crazy. But it's like that's everybody's mind, and so many people are just good at faking it. You know what I mean? It's just like no, nah, the mind's got to fake it till you make We're it. Animals. That's that's We're what the game is these days. Thoughts. Right. But if we shared that information, think how much more comfortable we'd be. If everybody just admitted that no one knows what the fuck we're doing. You know what I mean? And we're all trying to figure this shit out. Instead of being like, oh, you didn't do no, that yet? You didn't no watch one, that yet? You no didn't do this? Knows. You didn't do no that? No one you knows. Didn't, like, so that's where, th- that's where the fun comes in. 